hello friends welcome back to a new video that is mcqs on evolution and this is the part two of this series of videos on this topic of evolution so let's start the question answer session on this topic so the first question of this video that is question number 21 the unit of evolution is the option a individual option b social groups option c population or option d species so the right one is option c that is population so the unit of evolution is the population okay so let next question is question number 22 that is which of the following does not explain the term survival of the fittest and the options are option a fittest animal live higher number of progeny than those which perish now the option B is fittest group of animals outpopulates its competitors or option C fittest animals are best predators or option D fittest group is rich in genetic variation and the right one is option C that is fittest animals are best predators so this is not true because here the question is which of the following does not explain the term survival of the fittest so this cannot does not explain the term survival of the fittest but others uh, can okay so the next question is question number 23 that is which factor of darwin's theory of natural selection is incorrect and the options are option a excessive multiplication option b struggle for existence option c inheritance of useful variations or option d natural selection that is survival of the fittest so which one is not darwin's incorrect about the darwin's theory of natural selection so the right answer is option c that is inheritance of useful variation this is the this is incorrect about the Darwin's theory of natural selection that is inheritance of useful variations so here we will see Darwin's theory of natural selection is based on the following factors that are prodigious production that is organisms reproduce at a high rate next is variation that is unfavorable variations are discarded and only favorable variations are inherited next is third that is struggle for existence only organisms with favorable variations can survive and reproduce so this one is not explained about the darwin's theory of natural selection so let's move on to question number 24 that is darwin in his theory of natural selection stated that option a natural selection acts on favorable variations of individuals option b involvement plays no role in evolution option c characters acquired during the life of an individual are inherited by its offspring or option d heritable variations arise through changes in the genetic complex of a species so which one is the right about the darwin in his theory of natural selection states that option correct one is option a that is natural selection acts on favorable variations of individual so darwin in his theory of natural selection stated that natural selection acts on favorable variations of individuals okay understand let's move on to question number 25 that is which of the following pairs represent homologous organs and the options are option a arm of man and wing of bat or option b wing of bird and wing of bat option c gills of fish and costasy crustacea or option d none of the above so which one is the following pair represent homologous organs and the right one is option a that is arm of man and wing of bat 
is the homologous organs okay so let's move on to question number 26 the total collection of genes at any one time in a unit of evolution is called the option a genotype option b demotype option c multiple allelic group or option d gene pool and the right one is option d that is gene pool so the total collection of genes at any one time in a unit of evolution is called the gene pool here we will see a gene pool is the collection of genes in a population of a species at a specific time so it includes all the genes and combinations of genes in a population okay so the next is question number 27 that is a change in the relative abundance of an allele the allelic frequency within a population over a succession of generations is called option a microevolution or adaptive evolution option b macroevolution or speciation option c phylogenetic evolution or option d coevolution so the right one is option a that is microevolution or adaptive evolution so a change in the relative abundance of an allele within a population over a succession of generations is called microevolution or adaptive evolution and here we will see microevolution is a type of adaptive evolution where microevolution is a gradual process of adaptation to the environment through natural selection it involves genetic changes in a population that do not result in speciation so this can include variation in form body color behavior etc okay so the next is question number 28 that is innate behavior are modified by option a natural selection option b genetic factors option c experience of individual or option d all of these so the correct one is option d that is all of these so innate behavior are modified by all of these that are natural selection genetic factors and experience of individuals so the next question they can get next is the mating system where the male has access to more than one female is known as option a monogamy option b polygamy option c polyandry or option d none so the right answer is option b that is polygamy so the mating system where the male has access to more than one female is known as polygamy okay so let's move on to question number 30 that is one of the major mode of adaptation in animals is option a reflex response option b taxis option c display or option d migration and the correct one is option a that is reflex response so one of the major mode of adaptation in animals is reflex response so let's move on to question number 31 which of the following is the most controversial term in ethology and the options are option a imprinting option b instinct option c posture or option d orientation and the correct one is option b that is instinct so instinct is the most controversial term in ethology so what is ethology ethology is the scientific study of animal behavior okay next is question number 32 the building of a web by a spider is an example of a option a instinct instinctual behavior or option b releaser option c imprinting or option d learned behavior so the correct one is option a that is instinctual behavior so a building of a web by a spider is an example of a instinctual behavior and here we will understand in instinct or instinctual behavior is a type of animal behavior that need not be learned so they don't need to be learned that 
a spider does not learn how to spin its web so it is born with the knowledge of web spinning so it is an instinctual behavior of the spider to build a web okay so the next is question number 33 that is the modification of a behavior as a result of experience is called option a orientation option b learning option c instinct or option d intelligence and the right one is option b that is learning so the modification of a behavior as a result of experience is called learning understand so let's move on to question number 34 that is maximum work on imprinting was carried out in option a domestic dogs option b ground nesting birds option c hoofed mammals or option d none and the correct one is option b that is ground nesting birds so maximum work on imprinting was carried out in ground nesting birds so here we will see imprinting is a type of learning that occurs in animals shortly after their birth or hatching okay so the first thing which they <coughs> after birth this shown they try to imprint imprint that okay so next is question number 35 that is which of the following is not true of singing in male birds and the options are option a all songs are learned from their parents option b it is done to claim a territory option c the typical song is characteristic of a species or option d they generally sing at dawn or dusk so the right one is option c that is the typical song is characteristic of a species so this one is not true of singing in a male bird but other three option that is option a option b and option d is true for singing in male birds okay so let's move on to question number 36 phenomenon of industrial mechanism demonstrates option a natural selection option b induced mutation option c geographical isolation or option d reproductive isolation and the correct one is option a that is natural selection so here we will see industrial me melanism is a evolutionary effect prominent in several arthropods where dark pigmentation that is melanism has evolved in an environment affected by industrial population sorry industrial pollution including sulfur dioxide gas and dark shoot deposits okay so industrial melanism is caused by industrial population so the next one is question number 37 the reaction which allows animals to escape from actual or potential danger in the environment is called option a shelter option b assessment option c avoidance or option d threat and the correct one is option c that is avoidance so the reaction which allows animal to escape from actual or potential danger in the environment is called as avoidance. So here we will see avoidance is a behavior that helps animal escape from a danger. So it's the act of keeping away from or withdrawing, or withdrawing from something undesirable. So for example, when faced with a predator, animals can instinctively escape towards shelter this is an adaptive action that offers long-term protection okay next is question number 38 when an animal attacks another animal this behavior pattern is called option a aggression option b threat option c appeasement or option d avoidance the correct one is option a that is aggression so when an animal attack another animal this behavior pattern is called aggression so let's move on to question number 39 the process whereby two animals come together and are physiologically ready to reproduce is known as option a courtship option b synchronization option c 
cap copulation or option D reproduction and the correct is correct one is option B that is synchronization so the process whereby two animals come together and are physiologically ready to reproduce is known as synchronization so the last question of this video that is question number 40 so learned behavior is the behavior that is more or less permanently acquired or modified as a result of the experience of the individual so the example of such a behavior is option a habituation option b reflex action option c fixed action pattern or option d instinct so the correct one is option a that is habituation so learned behavior is the behavior that is more or less permanently acquired or modified as a result of the experience of the individual that is known as habituation so here we will see habituation is a psychological learning process that involves becoming less responsive to a stimulus after repetitive repetitive exposure okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on the topic of evolution so thank you for watching this video